Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Digimon World Dusk. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be going off and we are going to do some quests. So I completely forgot where I was last time, so we're just going to have to hope that I remember. Uh, let's see if we have any side quests. There we go, the Bomber Incident. That sounds like a kind of scary quest. The Bomber Incident sounds terrifying, actually. Especially since I'm from the US, like, damn. So, let's see. I am going to check out... Oh, wait, wait. Gotta know where I'm going first. Okay, so we need to go to Dark Plaza. Dark Plaza. This is the square. This is the office. So, the plaza should be the farthest one. Yep, because this is the gate. I'm starting to remember. So, this must be the plaza. Yep. And we're looking for you. Look like my ultimate form. Haha. <laughs> Coops, heard about the bomb explosion in Magnet Mine? Actually, my friend Bomber Nanimon blew up... Platinum Mamemon's house. And Bomber Mamemon is afraid to go apologize. Can you please apologize to Platinum Mamemon for me? First, talk to Bomber Nanimon. Okay, so basically, we gotta go figure out this problem. There's a big problem if someone blew up somebody else's house. So hopefully, uh, Platinum Mamemon won't mind if we talk to them. But first, we need to find out if Bomber Nanimon was actually in the wrong or not. Apparently, they were not. It was an accident. But we gotta find out for sure. We are digi-destined, after all. Alright, so there it is. We need to go to the Magnet Mine. Now, the Magnet Mine has Dark, Beast, and Machine Digimon experience. Which is great, because that's what we need. Is, uh... Huh, there's a door over there. And there's stairs. I'll, I'll take the ladders. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh... Yeah, uh, we need Dark experience, we need Beast experience, and we need Machine experience. All of that is good. That looks like Beast. That looks like Dark. Oh, it's Moonmon! We need that. We need to find Moonmon very, very, very quickly because Moonmon is useful for our degeneration. So I am not the mo I'm not that worried about this. I'm gonna throw a raging darkness at these two. Yeah, these guys don't seem that strong. Hmm. Never mind. These opponents are that strong. I, I should treat them with more respect. All right. Well, then let's do this. One of them's a baby, so I expect it to die. The other one is a tanky, tanky beast monster. Mud Frigimon is no joke, huh? Alright, well then I guess I'll have to shoot a Freeze Fang at him. Sadly, he resists this, so I gotta hope for the best. With a crit, we can kill him, but it was a little bit... Oh, double crit, nice. But I know they call it something else, but I know I, I know him as Mud Frigimon, not Sukulablablamon. I can't say the name. Luckily, most of my Digimon resist Earth as well, so I'm good. I am in the clear. Let's try a Soulful Kick. Let's try a Steel-type move. See if that hurts. 284, that's pretty good. Goliath, why don't you try out one of your... Honestly, just keep going for Spiral Blow. It's your best attack. It's so good. Yeah, 220, very good. And Gobby, keep the Freeze Fangs a coming. The Freeze Fangs are good. It's so crazy that our Gobby would turn into a Gaburimon of all things. Uh, Gabur from Gaburimon to a Gabumon of all things. I guess that's where the, the, the evolution lies, though. Alright, Miko is level 22. That is pretty, pretty good. We're getting high in those levels. So, we need to check out over here. There's an item. Yes, that is what we want. Got Digimon 400S. That's what we like to see. And now, let's see. Anything over here? There's a door over here. It's hard to tell, but look, this is a door. Oh, okay. We already found, like, a portal-looking thingy. I kind of want to take the portal, but at the same time, I kind of want to just get the items. I mean, since we found the portal immediately, it makes me assume that the portal's what we want to take. Even though there's four paths. There's literally four paths ahead of us, so we gotta figure out which one's the right one. So if we take this dark path, let's see what we can find. Oh, give it a second to catch up. Come on, video game. Come on. Get your music to catch up to- Oh, there's a portal over there, what the heck? Alright, let's go take this portal first. Alright, what did we find? Curry Sarimon, very cool. Kuramon, very cool. Karamon, we found all three! Those are all from the same uh, Digimon. It's the baby rookie champion. That is pretty interesting. Alright, these Curry Sarimons are the bigger threats. Why is Karamon and Kuramon faster than them? Because they're pretty tanky and they're dark Digimon that love to do instant kill moves. I think. That might not be them, but they're strong. Level 34, holy crap. That's what the level of some bosses have been. Ooh, they're tanky. We got to sleep, though, which is what we were aiming for. Now, Spiral Blow both of them. Or all three of them. See if we can get some good damage. Ooh, okay. Okay, pretty good damage. 
Uh, we don't want to give you a chance, and maybe we have a chance of killing you, so try to hit him. Let's see, 244. Okay, that was a level 11. It didn't take that much damage, so yeah. These guys are really strong. Man, Caramons are so cool, though. Look at these evil guys. In my Digimon game, Digimon Destiny, or Digi Destinies, I make Caramon one of the strongest Digimon because I think they're awesome. Alright, we resist Dark except for Gaburi. He's kind of... Oh, that did nothing! So they're just tanks. They don't do any damage. That's that's fine, then. I was expecting much worse. It's weird that the champion form is so much weaker than the... Well, not weaker, but so much uh, slower than the rookie form. With a critical hit, no sleep, sadly. Okay. Oh, no sleep is a bummer. Uh, we're going to hit him anyway, so let's go ahead and just hit both of these. Yeah, just try to weaken that guy. Alright, I know I woke you up, but I don't care. Here, let's try freeze fanging. If we don't kill him in one, then we'll kill him in two. We killed him in one, so the other one's going over there. If this was regular Digimon World DS, we would have wasted an attack. So that's one of the improvements Dusk has that I like. Alright, just keep Moon Knight bombing. These guys are too tanky to be leaving alone. But at least they're giving us the dark experience we crave. We also need Aquian experience, don't we? So that our uh, Snow Agumon can get stronger. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go do a sidetrack for that. I might do it off screen so you guys don't have to watch. That'd probably be boring. Alright, just Gatling Punch it. There we go. Man, this song is cool. Alright, Gobby <coughs> hit level 17, Skull hit level 14. We have to wait for Skull to hit like level 21 before we start caring. Uh, gate disc, yay, got a gate disc. Alright, now that we got a gate disc, let's go over here. Wow, wow, there's just items everywhere, what the heck? This place, I even missed an item back there that I'm just going to go back and get eventually, but for now, it's like, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Another Mud Frigimon. And an Arcuramon. And in our Moonmon. I would love to find more Moonmons and more uh, Karamons. And more... Yeah, all of them. All of them. Everything but the Champion form. Champion form's a little too strong. Um, honestly, the Moonmon... I'm not afraid of the baby, so just try to kill the... The Mud Frigimon. Or the Suchidarumon, which I think Mud Frigimon's better. Although in Japanese, that probably means something that makes sense, and I just don't understand it because I'm a dumb American that doesn't understand things. Alright, let's go ahead and kill it with this. Oh yeah, that's a kill. Sadly, we couldn't kill the baby, so we're gonna have to kill two of the babies now and get the third baby later. Punch it in the eye. Yeah, those Kuramons are a little scary. These Moonmons are adorable. They look like a teardrop. Alright, Frothy Spit is not scary at all. That's an 18 damage move. Hilarious. Let's just finish it off with a low MP cost moves. Low, low MP cost. Gatling punch it for death. There we go. Sorry, Moonmons. We need to kill many, many of you so I can get you to become one of my creatures. Alright, what about this thing? Anti-sleeve. That's good. Let's go this way first. I actually don't know where I'm going, guys, so I'm kind of just like, uh... Just kind of guessing where I should go. Uh, this is the closest route, so I'm going to go the closest route. Okay, let's see here. Huh, that actually... Oh, this looks like it's at the end of the quest. So this I need to remember. This I do need to remember. This looks like the end of the quest. Because I've done this quest before. So I'm glad I remembered that much. But now i got to go find the beginning of the quest. Ooh, item. Nice. At least we're getting items all the time. Digi Reviver D, that's pretty good. Okay, we got a door ahead of us, or we can go that way. Let's check the door real quick. Oh, look, it's Bomber Nanimon! So we need to find a way up there. Okay, so that's not too bad. At least we know where they are. Bomber Nanimon is up there, so we can get there from... Only from that door. So there's somewhere on the other side, which means it's not this way. Okay, so we see, we're figuring things out. We're figuring things out. There's supposed to be a door over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, we did it. That was not the hardest quest in the world. Okay. Kuramon. Kuramon. Kurisarimon. Kuramon. I don't care for Kurisarimon. I actually just want Karamon and Kuramon. Those two are the cool ones. 
Uh, let's just try to kill the big old one. Even though it's slow, it's gonna... It's the only one that could probably do any real damage to us, even though we resist it. Hell, even Gobby probably resisted because he used to be a Dark Digimon, so... Or at least he probably was... Like, Gaburimon you would think would resist darkness. Critical hit. Ooh, got the double sleep. Isn't that just rude? Well, I don't care if I got double sleep because I'm going for a kill right now. I'm not going for anything else. 183. Wow, everybody survived that one. All right, try to kill it off with the freeze fame, but I'm starting to realize they're just too tanky. 183. Come on, crit, 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 crit. Crit! Yeah! What was the odds of that? I don't know. They're probably pretty high, actually, but I'm, I'm glad it happened. Glare Eye, that doesn't sound like Frothy Spit. You resist my dark resistance. How dare you? Charge is just a basic attack. Eight damage as well. Glare Eye. Nine damage, see? Because my resistance went down. <laughs> this game's weird. It's weird when it comes to resistance. Alright, just shoot some water in its face. It's cute. They're honestly cute. Like, they're creepy. In real life, I would be afraid of these things. But, like, they're cute. Like, you can see it. You can see how this design was kind of cute. Alright, let's go ahead and do Gatling Punch. Maybe that'll finish it off. There we go. Sorry, Kuramon. It had to be done. Thank you for the dark experience and a level up. Skull. Yeah, Skull got to level 15. That's good. So all we have to do now is go up here and go talk to Bomber Nanimon. Uh, okay, maybe it's up here? Okay, wow. That's interesting. Well, I was trying to dig up treasure with a bomb and I accidentally blew up uh, uh, Platinum Mamemon's house. Or Prince Mamemon is probably what it is. Alright, so basically he uh, the she, or I think that was a she. She said that she'll fix the house, so that's very nice. Thank you, Bomber Nanimon. But, you know, you still blew up somebody's house. And this looked like the end of the quest because I saw an exit over here. And I was right. Look, it is... Oh, and it is uh, Prince Mamemon. I thought Platinum made no sense because, you know, Mamemon already looks Platinum. Uh, what? Are you a friend of Bomber Nanimon? How dare you destroy my house? I just built it. Even the furniture was custom made. You're going to pay for this. Oh, crap. I, do, I was just here to tell you that, like, you know, we were, that they were willing to fix it. I didn't know you were going to jump me, you jerk. Bomber Nanimon is willing to fix the damages. I am sorry that you're such a jerk that thinks they need to fight me. Thank God you're a machine, so you're probably weak to water. That didn't do shit. That was almost 200 damage and your health barely moved. You're level 47. What the hell? Who thought that was a good idea? Take this. Wind attack. Maybe you're weak to wind. Oh, God, you're not. Okay, let's try a ground attack or an earth attack. Maybe you're weak to earth. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you're weak to water for sure, because that water did, did good damage. What is purple rain? It's not like chocolate rain, is it? 236. It poisons. Of course it poisons. Thank God it missed uh, one of my Digimon, but this is rough. And all my Digimon are fast, but Prince Mamemon is keeping up, so this guy must be like an ultimate or even maybe a mega. Level 47 makes me think it's a mega, but it has to be at least an ultimate. But then I think, when you think about it, Mamemon is an ultimate, so you would think this has to be a Mega. Alright, let's try to cure. Now that we have some time. Confusion, anti-numb, paralysis, anti-poison. There we go. Cure, cure our buddy there. And then you heal. Yeah, just a quick little heal. Nothing too bad. And now that they're asleep, we could do uh, take quite a few shots at them. Alright, Moon Knight Bomb, go! At least this boss battle, they can fall asleep. The bosses where they can't fall asleep, we're in trouble. 200 damage, and he... Damn, God damn, Prince Mamemon took it like a champ. I love the little glitter, though. It's a, it's a pretty cool Mamemon form. Uh, you know what? Spiral Blow didn't really do that much. Although, none of these other moves look that strong. So I guess, yeah, I might as well just go for my best move. My signature move is as good as I'm going to get. 132. At least you do about 200 damage, uh, uh, Gaburimon, or Gabi. Sorry, I keep wanting to say Gaburimon. It's actually Garurumon now. All right, Moon Knight Bomb. There we go. You got a critical hit with the Moon Knight Bomb. That's pretty good. What do we get this time? 192 damage. Could have been better. Alright, trying our spiral blow. It's okay. We already got him to half health. That's pretty good. But if he does another strong attack, that's flash rate hits everybody. Ooh, please don't have a special effect. 
Confusion! It all, all it is is a special effect. No! No, that sucks for us. Alright, well, we're gonna have to ki kill it, but we might be losing a lot of turns. Okay, we haven't lost a single turn yet. That was lucky. But it's Goliath is probably gonna be the first one, because three in a row... We, there's no way we're gonna get lucky three times in a row. But honestly, Peepee's the only one I really want to not miss. Or Gobby. They, they're both doing good damage. Peepee -pee doing the best, though. Like, double the damage of Gobby. Oh my god, three in a row. Nice. Confusion matters not. We are strong. In the mind. Flash Ray again. You're just reconfusing us? Really? It doesn't even do any damage. Oh, I get it. You're lagging the game. That's how you're trying to get me. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Daydreaming. Oh, good. The one who didn't daydream was the one I wanted to hit anyway. Die, Prince Mamemon. Die. You will suffer a death. Please die? Oh my god, you're so tanky. How are you so tanky? Critical hit, nice. Alright, well now I'm gonna spiral blow you. Eh, it could have been better. Gobby, you wanna free spang him? He's so close to death. Look at that, Prince Mamemon is so close. And they haven't done anything to us. Maybe the purple rain, that kind of hurt. But other than that, the rest has been a waste of time. Burst tackle, what is that? Okay, we could take that. We're really tanky. Hell, Gobby has 978 health. He's their tankiest member of the team. And I think thanks to us break through the confusion almost every time, we won the battle. Confusion normally could make it so you don't ever get to go. Oh, wait a minute. It's not over. I missed. Had I not missed, this would have been over. Oh, crit didn't even kill it. Never mind. Daydreaming? Okay. Oh, I got cured already. Wow. Normally the confusion's a lot more annoying. This I got lucky. And Prince Mamemon has fallen. So, 900 experience in Machine. The only one who didn't level up was PP. Pee -Pee. That is funny. So, Gobby went up two levels. Amazing. Goliath went up one level. Uh, Kogamon went up one level. Skull went up two levels. And Miko went up one level. All right. Hey, look, can we talk? I see, you're only here because Balmernanimon asked you to. It was a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. I'll forgive everything if she fixes my house. I'll go talk to Balmernanimon. Give my regards to Cressamon. All right, I'll give my regards to Cressamon. Ah, goddammit, it was right there. The exit was right there. Oh, you two opponents. Okay. Okay, why not? We need the experience anyway. Let me just kill you. Although I thought like we handled that boss battle a lot better than other boss battles. Mostly due to luck, but still. Alright, we got the sleep on one of them. That makes me feel pretty confident. And oh my god, Mud Fridgemon hates the water, that's for sure. Well, let's uh let's kill the Mud Fridgemon then. If we could go for it, let's just try to kill him. Alright. And now you. Uh, try a tiny bomb on him. Nothing too strong. There we go. Because we don't want to hit twice or Curry, Curry Sarimon will wake up. And we don't want to wake up Curry Sarimon. Alright, let's go ahead and Moon Knight bomb him again. This guy's super tanky but super slow, so they never get to attack. I think being slow in this game is a very bad, bad thing. But being super tanky is also pretty good. If you can be as tanky as a boss, that is. This guy isn't. He doesn't have the HP stat for it. His defense is definitely there, but his HP stat just can't make up for it. 200 damage. Oh my god. And now Bruce Fang will probably kill it. Oh, I just noticed Gobby is 1,000 HP. Gobby, you're so tanky. Peepee's really falling behind because I can't really degenerate them. But now that Moonmon's here, I can, so that's something. Miko hits level 24. Good for Miko. And now we can escape. All right, everybody. It looks like we've done it. We completed a quest without ever running into any... Like, we didn't even get lost that much. We, we actually did that pretty easily. That felt good. That felt really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to go talk to Cressamon and say, hey, we did the good thing. Yeah, I did it really easily, too. Oh, we got a gift? Nice. We're getting it from the Dark Center. Thank you, Bomber Nanimon. You're awesome. Alright, so now that we're here, let's go up here, and let's see what our gift was. Alright, 145 Tanner points, $6,000, full repair, that could be useful. 
Alright, thank you, Bomber Nanimon. That was very nice of you. And guys, that is going to be it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, we'll be continuing on with side quests, and we'll probably even have newer Digimon. So, see you all then.